Hello, YouTubers and all those out there. I hope you're all doing quite well nonetheless. So, unfortunate news happens here before me today. And, of course, yes, this is the new 3DS XL. I purchased this last night. And uh, a crappy thing happened. Now, some people will look at this and go, Oh, you could kind of ignore that bit. But it's sort of like, you know, you pay this money for it. And you expect it to be 110% working order. But, again, of course, the system just came out. So, all the... Uh, little bugs and all that stuff will not work, but uh, let's make sure the sound is completely off. There we go. And I'll show you, you can probably see it right off the bat as soon as I flip open that lid. And that, of course, or inside the clam top, so to speak. Let's see if we can get the. There we go. As you can see, right there down the line is the dead pixel. Now. Unfortunately, you cannot put video through this bottom screen in terms of, like, YouTube, pardon me, YouTube or anything else like that. So, I can't, some people say, oh yeah, use that trick there. And I was like, you realize I just said it was not at the bottom, or top screen, it's at the bottom, right? <laughs> yeah, touch screen. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's sitting there. I mean, it, the screen works perfectly fine. You know, I can kind of go like that. I can do that. So, let's close that out. It leaves a sour taste in my mouth. I mean, I'm very excited again to get the system. You know, it is like I'm ungra un ungrateful about it. I'm completely grateful to get the system, but it just rolls across my lap like a spiked mace ball that it's. Uh, and the way Nintendo does their said uh, Nintendo ID system is to me heinous for folks like myself who are trying to get this fixed right away. Who want to get it done quick. So you have to go through a lot of bells and whistles in order to fix the said issue at hand. Now, with this system right here, guess how many days it takes to, uh, you know, being able to transfer your content ID or your, sorry, your Nintendo ID to another system. Now the first charge so to speak now you don't really literally charge you but the first charge counter for taking this from an old system putting it onto this one for example was instant you know since instantaneous it was just worked right off the bat but with this idea nintendo didn't quite thinking out or think it out like myself i don't think half the shit i think say out loud out either but nintendo is notorious i think for being a little bit more unthoughtful with this, at least versus me at this point in time, is that the charge or the counter for that Nintendo ID is seven days, a week, before you may, you have permission to die, uh, basically go out and get another, or transfer this ID to another one. Because what I wanted to do was take the ID, pull it off this uh, 3DS, and then put it on to a new one. So I want to take these, take the data, or the data, or data, off of this 3DS and put it onto my PC. Go to Best Buy, which I uh, want to go purchase this from, and you know, put that information and my Nintendo ID onto that new system when I hopefully got it from that store. So again, it's it's hair raising just depressing because it's like all the control it feels like for the consumer it becomes yanked down to a simple process of too many hoops and whistles just to fix a simple problem and to exchange a item just like that I mean again I'm not here holding it personal against uh, Best Buy or anything nor Nintendo when it comes to what technically happened to the system with the dead pixels across the screen. I'm not. This is not me here blaming them, saying it's all their fault, they're scumbags. No, it's just the fact that this, this shit happens. You know, it's technology. You know, things like that hiccup. But it's just the process of elimination here sucks. Because the way Nintendo does the uh, content, or the, side, the Nintendo ID, is basically if it's bound to your system... Uh, you cannot pull any or re-download any said games to a new system if you ever decide, or in this case, to have to fix the situation. Though, uh, Holly told me that you can go to Nintendo and they can uh, take the serial number 
from this system, yank off the Nintendo ID for you, and then switch it over to a new one, which is good news. Uh, once a Nintendo opens, it's uh, this is an hour behind, by the way, on this watch. I'm too lazy to uh, fix it correctly. But it's 8.50 right now, so I have to wait 9 o'clock and then go and see if hopefully they can do that for me, if that's possible. Because if it ain't, I'm going to be very, very, very depressed. I mean, again, the dead pixel line, is it completely in a disenabling my gameplay? No. But it's sort of like, uh, you know, you want something that works 110%, right? You put so much behind a system or a piece of electronic or a computer. Let's say, for example, you get a new computer, right? And then the monitor just has a massive-ass crack across it. You're thinking, okay, I can just l work around that crack across the screen. No, you'd want to get a new monitor, right? You paid all this money, and you want a new monitor. You want this thing to work the best it can possibly work. So that's pretty much my beef. Other than that, I mean, the game plays fine, Monster Hunter, that is. And so I'm not too upset about that at all. You know, I get to play the game with a big screen. The controls are great. Uh, the Z, L, and Z, R kind of gets, I get, still get used to them because you can uh, turn the camera those. And I'm just not used to that right now because the way they, uh, the way they're designed inside versus the uh, outside trigger buttons, so the bumper buttons. So again, I have to get used to that. But other than that, I mean, yeah, it sucks. Which is a way I can actually fix that, but there's no screen software out there for the Nintendo 3DS that could fix that anyway. Where it would flicker across the screen and it would uh, reset the pixels or whatever. And even though there's like that one strip right there, there's like no light going through that whatsoever, emitting from the LED screen. So that means that right there would, uh, it's, it's not going to get worse before it gets better kind of thing. It's just going to be there. And they said it's just it. Uh, it could be. Uh, wire or something like that's hanging out of the system. It's not firmly in there. Who knows? But either way, it sucks. I mean, the system itself, or the 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 uh, Nintendo th new Nintendo 3DS XL, it's a great system. Otherwise, it's it's actually really nice in the hands and everything. It's just hopefully I can get the situation fixed. Ah! So yeah, take it easy. Touch my nipples. See you later.